Hi, I'm Deanna Gillen here at Field Service USA with Arnav Vinod of UC Berkeley. Hi Arnav, how are you today? We're doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. I sat in on your uh, presentation yesterday on Google Glass and how it could revolutionize field service. Can you tell us a little bit about that presentation and what you're wearing right now? <laughs> so, what I'm wearing is a Google Glass and you know I'm asking Glass to take a picture of you. Okay, Glass, take a picture. Or what? I can ask if you're having a problem right now in your washing machine, I can ask my Glass to initiate a video conversation. And I can get your help or I can take the help of someone else and help you troubleshoot it. That brings into your question. Um, so yesterday what I talked about is a lot of this time, you know, we have this problem. Right. If your car breaks down or if your washing machine breaks down, right. what do you normally do? Right. You try to, you know, go on to YouTube or something and try to find a solution to it. Mm -hmm. And what, you know, what we are doing is instead of always trying to, you know, call a tech support guy to help you troubleshoot it, right. you can self-troubleshoot it yourself. Yeah. And especially with a heads-up display like Google Glass, you can show the person what exactly the problem what you are experiencing. Right. And then the technician on the other end, he can handhold you and help you guide through the problem. And you don't have to call the technician. Right. So, so the heads up display, the Google Glass, Vuzix, and some of the other devices are a little bit you know, futuristic. Right. But today you can do the same thing with your cell phone. And what it cut down, it cuts down your truck rolls, uh -huh. it increases your first time fix rate, mm -hmm. and it builds up your knowledge base. Right, and so with your presentation yesterday, you are talking about Google Glasses, right? And basically the technician going into the field, uh -huh. wearing the Google Glasses, and they could talk to people. Uh, you said something about like a really specialized tech being able to kind of train like 10 techs or talk to them and teach them what that very like specialized thing um, through the glasses. Can you talk, talk a little bit about that? So you that? know what you're, Deanna, what you're touching upon is the training aspect. Right. Right. So think about the best used case. Right. You are the technician. You, your biggest weapon are your hands. Right. And when you're going in your tech, when you're going in the field, you need your hands. Right. And something to hold your phone, look at it. Right. It's ergonomically very, very challenging. Yeah. And the glass, what you can do, it's like everyone is wearing a glass and you are super tech. Mm -hmm. You are out there in New York and you instruct me that, hey Arnav, you know, why don't you just take the red wire and turn it on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. And similarly, you're training the, all the other people, whenever such kind of red wiring issue comes in, mm -hmm. you have to change it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and again, it's an on the job training. It's not that you just sit out in the classroom, but it's on the job training and you're learning constantly. Okay. And the best part, you know, you capture those videos that can be used for future troubleshooting. Right, okay. Um, so how do the glasses work? The glasses are really, if you think about it, you know, it's a mobile, it's a, it's a mobile, and the mobile is basically a computer. Right. So it's got a large CPU in it, processor. Uh -huh. It's got an, Excellent. The, the best thing what I like about the glass, like about the glass, yeah. is its projection. Okay. Right. So, it's and think about you know all these LCD projectors. Right. It's all compressed into that. Okay. And with the prism, it's able to project at such an angle that you can pretty much look through anything, and without changing the line of sight, it would just change your eyeballs position, and you can look at the projections. Okay. Right? So it's got a microphone. It's got a processor, it's got its own memory, and it's got a projection ability. Okay, and so I remember before when you were taking a picture, you would touch the side, right? So, so how does it, how does it work? So the projector is right here, right? Uh -huh. And so how does, how does it? So there is, there's a projector and there's a camera out here, uh -huh. right? So the moment I take, you know, like, so I'm gonna t tell my glass, glass, take a picture. And some of the times the voice navigation, if it doesn't work, then what you do, you tap it. And you know, when you tap it, then you take picture. So let's see. 
great. Yeah. So I'm going to show you your picture. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's literally right there. Right there, right? Yeah. You don't have to change your line of sight. What you're doing, you're just changing your eyeballs, and you can look at it. Yeah, is it literally like right, right here? But I can I can still see. So and so, everything, yes. And so the Google Glasses, they also that you can play video. So. So that's what. So the our technology, in addition to UC Berkeley, we had we were working on a technology, and we spun out, and we. The company Resolution Two. We are working on this technology that enables remote troubleshooting of machines. Okay. And that's really targeted within field services. Yeah. So you know, it it targets the remote troubleshooting, mm -hmm. targets the training, and then finally all the other business metrics what it affects. How long do you think it'll take for uh, field services to kind of adopt the Google Glass? So well, we are ready with the product today. Uh -huh. If one of the company wants it. Right. We're ready to go, we're ready to implement in the field. But you know, if you look at, and, and this is where the cycles of innovation comes in. Right. So 1999 was the beginning of the web, okay. right, 98. And the web, the web innovation went through a cycle of a decade, mm -hmm. around till 2007, you know, it started maturing. And that was the time when Steve Jobs did the magic and brought the smartphone into it. The touch right. screen, right? Right. So that was the wave of mobile devices. Right. That was the innovation wave. That went for another like four or five years, five years. Uh -huh. And now it's been maturing on the consumer side, the enterprise side is still seeing. And I'd say the Google Glass wave, or you know, it's the smart glass wave. The smart glass wave has just started. And, and for the early adopters, they're already adopting it. And to penetrate into the market, I'd say like a year, a couple of years. Um, but but you think that this is going to be the new wave of mobility and field services? Yeah, it's got to be because you know it's built for field services. Right. It's built for medical. Yeah. When you know when your hands ergonomically, it makes so much more sense. And you got an online, you got a projector attached to your head. Someone can mark on it. Someone can get a uh, get a document pulled in front of you. So all of that is going to be extremely valuable. Definitely. Well, of all the new waves of technology, apart from Google Glasses, let's think of M2M, augmented reality, um, the Internet of Things, driverless cars, drones, of all those things, besides the Google Glasses, because obviously like those are amazing, but what are you most excited about coming about in field services? And you know why? what? I, so the most important thing in field services is about the people. Mm -hmm. And whatever the technology is, is just a means to solve the problem. Right. And what you talked about, M2M, augmented reality glasses, they're a bunch of ecosystem. Right. So the Internet of Things is strongly tied to M2M communication. Right. And for me, the biggest value is meeting good people who are in similar boat, who's trying to solve similar problem, and seeing the excitement trying to you know, educate people about the new technologies. Right. And my last question. Yes. Um, what are you hoping to get out of field services? Like, what, what made you come here? So the first was, you know, I wanted to act as, or I wanted to educate the, the, the conference, the people about the potential of um, smart glasses and the opportunities, what, what it can do. Right. Um, we also wanted, you know, I brought my team from my company to get educated about the field services. These are incredibly smart people who had been working at Google, Microsoft, and this whole industry was very alien to them. Right. So they got a good learning out of the conference people. And the third important thing was, you know, meeting bright, smart people like you. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sitting down and talking to me, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much, Yana, for your time. Thank and you. I hope you're a great conference as well. All right, thank you.